I guess I, I just wanted to take a quick moment and say thank you to Rudy as well as to Puck and everybody else who sort of stepped in at the last moment to help and make this show happen. You know, everybody that was on our crew that was working despite some pretty incredible conditions. And I, I want to just take a, a brief moment. I know that we are a international program uh, with a giant audience from all over the world. But, you know, being that we are the atheist community of Austin, I, I want to just acknowledge for the folks here in Austin or in Texas that, you know, as a therapist, I have this uh, kind of unique window into the living rooms of uh, a lot of different people throughout the week. And I have had literally dozens of conversations this week where I've checked in with folks and said something along the lines of like, you know, how, how are you holding up? Like, how did you make out last week during the uh, weather crisis that we experienced here? And almost to a person, I think everybody started off with something along the lines of, oh, well, we were, we were among the fortunate ones. We were some of the lucky ones. You know, we only lost power for a day or two, or we only lost water for a day or two, or, you know, we kept our power and water, but we were trapped in the house. And, you know, then I, I kind of scratch the surface a little bit and give people an opportunity to realize this is pretty crazy stuff that it was a, a really wild and difficult experience for a lot of people. And if you're listening to this and you're one of those folks that had a, a really challenging week last week that felt trapped inside their home, that didn't know what was going to happen or uh, felt betrayed by their government or these other things, I, I guess I just wanted to take a moment before we wrap up tonight to acknowledge that those feelings are valid. This is a, a time where we're all incredibly disconnected. You're not necessarily bumping into people at uh, you know bars and, and coffee shops the way that you used to. And so in case there aren't enough people in your life telling you, I just want to let you know you're not alone for struggling with some of those emotions. And a lot of those feelings and frustrations are valid. So uh, thank you all for, for giving me just a, a moment to touch on that issue. Uh, but I also want to thank the two of y'all for, for being here and, and putting this show together with me tonight. It's been a blast. <laughs> I'm always nervous beforehand, but I love doing it. <laughs> well, glad to hear it. I think that's a, a good sign that you'll be back around. We definitely appreciate having you here. And, and Rudy, uh, having you step up into the rotation and, and be here much more often has been a blast. Let me hand it to you to uh, take us out tonight. Awesome. Great. Thank you. And thank you for thanking me for being here because I love being here. I don't know why you would thank me. I should be thanking you. Um, but of course, we should, both of us should really be thanking Marie. Awesome, Marie. Yeah. Uh, by the way, how can people find you, Marie? Is there possibly a picture we have with all the links <laughs> that people can find you? I at? don't know. Maybe I made one earlier. Oh, there oh, it is. Oh, look at that. It's Fabulous. So pretty. Thank you, Amazing. Canva. Yeah, <laughs> you can. <laughs> yeah, you can learn about the coaching work that I do for ethical non-monogamy and religious trauma at mariedelafont.com. And then you can also listen to my podcast, Everyone's Autonomous, that addresses the after deconversion uh, adjustments that we go through as we realize that we are human beings with animal bodies and what the hell is going on. So uh, that's at everyonesautonomous.com. Awesome. Uh, we also want everybody to come and join us on our Facebook secular sexuality uh, fan group uh, that can be found at facebook.com slash groups slash secular sex FG. The FG stands for fan group it's tech it's not like owned by the aca or anything it's by fans for fans i'm in there all the time christy's in there all the time lots of fun discussions go on in there uh and uh the next link that i should be talking about is our merch uh on i think it's our teespring right our teespring uh and the link for that is bit.ly slash aen merch and now we've got all that the the money and the links and the stuff out of the way <laughs> we need to acknowledge the people mm -hmm. let's see the people let's see the crew let's go to the crew cam oh look at those oh. people look at those great people i love those people 
They're the best people. <laughs> oh my goodness, Martin oh, set up a cat cam. Oh man, how many cats oh, can we fit goodness. on this internet? Oh my goodness, he's like a little baby. <laughs> oh, he's a bitey baby. <laughs> oh, oh, that's so good. He reminds me so much of my cat, who is also a bitey baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's so wonderful. <sighs> that just made like uh, this discussion was great, you guys. But Martin's <laughs> cat really, that really is the, the thing that did it for me. That made it all worth it. We've got Always nothing on cats. On, yeah, leave them on a high note. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> leave it on a high note. Uh, that is it for our show tonight. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're about to say the thing. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of high notes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I hope everybody in this beautiful audience gets to go and give somebody an orgasm or, you know, better yet, give, some, give wait, somebody give else the, give one. Themselves, <laughs> give themselves, you know what I meant. Don't tell Daryl. 